Heart disease is the leading cause of death among women, and it's important to know the risk factors and what you can do to prolong your life. Our medical expert, Dr. Nave, joins us this afternoon with more on what you should know about heart disease. Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. Well, Mike and Denny, a new report discusses some of the differences of, with heart disease between men and women. One thing that is not different is that heart disease remains the number one killer for both men and women, but women can have worse outcomes after a heart attack, and they may have different signs or warning symptoms before a heart attack. Women may not have chest pain that is commonly seen mm -hmm. in men with heart attack. They may have less predictable symptoms or no symptoms at all, and this is a problem because this can lead to delays in getting treatment. But, uh, that's no yeah. symptoms at all? That's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, a silent, a silent heart attack, wow. yeah. Now, yeah. you said treatment. It's very important to get it as fast as possible, right? Correct. Um, heart disease is, is, um, acts quickly. It can lead to a blockage of blood flow, so you want to call 911 if you suspect a heart attack immediately. You have some tips for heart health. Right. Um, there are three things that we all can do, whether we're men, uh, women, is to be aware of the risk factors for having heart disease, and this includes having high cholesterol, high mm -hmm. blood pressure, diabetes, being a smoker, being overweight, or having a family history of heart disease. And the second is to be uh, able to recognize the common and the not so common or atypical warning signs of a heart attack. Chest pain is, is common, and that can be either a crushing pain, a dull ache, a squeezing, or pressure in the center of the chest, and this can also spread or radiate to the jaw, mm -hmm. the upper arm, the back, or the shoulder, and this is seen in both men and women having a heart attack. But in women, in the days before or weeks before a heart attack, they may have some unexplained fatigue or uh, tiredness, mm -hmm. sleep disturbances, shortness of breath, or indigestion or stomach pain. So if you have those risk factors, you're a woman and you're experiencing these, you might want to think about heart attack and seek medical attention. And the third thing we all can do is to practice prevention. Prevention. And that is by eating a, a nutritious diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, uh, lean meats, <laughs> a low-fat dairy, being physically active, maintaining a healthy weight, and uh, stopping cigarette smoking. And our doctors can help us help us with all these prevention tips. All right, good advice today, doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. All right, Dr. Dave is here every Tuesday on the noon show. If you have a question you would like her to address, email it to us at newsdesk at cbs47.tv and we'll be right back.